My guest on Insight today is from Germany. He's somebody who I actually interviewed about a year ago. And that was because he is disabled and he had a serious accident here in Thailand in 2003, about four years ago. And we spoke about that and I'm going to catch up on that a little bit later. But what I want to do today is to find out a little bit more about the man and his earlier life, particularly in the music business and with his clubs. I'm talking about Jens Masful. Jens, welcome to the program. Thank you, Mike. Okay, now whereabouts were you born in Germany? I'm born in the north of Germany, uh -huh. 1966. Okay, what town was it? It's uh, Neumünster. It's a little town in the in the north of Germany, but I lived my whole life in Frankfurt. Okay. Now um, you told me you were in the music business for many many years as a music producer, and also discotheques. Now tell me a bit more about that because that's such a big field to be in. So specifically, what did you do? Yeah, it's a big story, you know. Um, when I was 18, I started to work uh, in nightclubs, also like a waiter, you know. And uh, Frankfurt is very popular about also techno music, you know. Mm -hmm. Techno music grows up in Frankfurt, in Germany. So I was a young guy, I was study and uh, to get some money I was work like a waiter. Then I was 20, I started to work in the travel agency. but. I like really much Ibiza. It's a little island in front uh, of uh, Barcelona in Spain. I know it well. It's a beautiful island, but it's a party island, you know, and beautiful people, beautiful parties. So I went there and I fall in love with this island. And then I went about four or five years. I was living in Ibiza. Start to be inside the party scene. I was uh, run like a manager. The Q, it's a famous club over there. Mm -hmm. The Paja, Amnesia. And yeah, I, I was very popular and I called my organization, I called my organization a Frankfurt Beat because I took over the most famous DJs like Sven Fate, DJ Dark, Max Boone. Yeah. This was the most famous DJs who are now also be the biggest DJs of the world to Ibiza. And we done these parties, we were all young guys, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, after I was 25, I, I came back to Germany and uh, somebody offered to me to found a record company you know because i had good contacts yeah, in this yeah. business and techno techno and dance music was growing up you know i die culture beat prodigy everything and so i start this company and this company went very well you know bigger and bigger we have our own distribution own publishing company i had an office in amsterdam in england in new york you know was uh, was a good time you know, but so this this must have been late eighties, early nineties. Yeah. Was a was a great time. Yeah. You know, fun parties. We went all over the world. You know, was uh, record business was going very well. But then later, the record business in the time of uh, copy, CD copies, yeah, yeah. internet, the record business went down, down, down. You know, there wasn't before. There was a lot of money. You know, right. you can do everything but uh, then in the time of internet the record company was immediately very quickly fucked up you know nobody had more money they copy all the tracks you not get nothing back so in this way I decide to to do also consulting for discotheques mm -hmm. because mostly the, the people who run a discotheque for a long time they are not inside the scene, they are not inside yeah, the trend, you know. So I travel all over the world and I saw what's coming up, you know. Like now techno music is not anymore so popular, there came hip hop music, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like an owner, if you don't understand yeah. this, and every day another child is born and grow up, grow up, you know, they, they grow up with a different kind of music. So the, all the owners, they didn't, didn't understand, they had always the same guys, music. Oh. And so they was wondering why the club is empty, you know. And then I came, I looked for the new concepts and and uh, things like this for for a time period. And presumably but at the same time you were maybe introducing DJs that you knew to go to those places. And exactly, perform. exactly. Yeah. I hook up uh, special parties, concepts, so that the people are coming back to the discotheques to make it more attractive, change something of the yeah, of the. Yeah club you know make special special things you know to well, make it cer <laughs> certainly doesn't sound dull or boring Jens no <laughs> sounds like I'm going <laughs> wonderful thing now I, kn I know you had two uh, you still have one I know two nightclubs one in Hamburg one in Frankfurt yeah 
and I believe you sold the one in Hamburg. Yeah. And why was that? Uh, I have a very good club in, in Frankfurt, you know, the name is Golden Gate. I have it now for about nine years. Mm, then I was thinking maybe to do another club in Hamburg. I have some good connection in Hamburg, so so. But uh, this was a big mistake, you know, but this was straight on the Reeperbahn, this club. And was uh, in the earliest, this, the name was top 10, was a very famous, the Beatles gave the first concert in oh. Germany inside this club. Right. So I saw also a lot of people on this rapper barn, you know, you have in the weekend about yeah. 10,000 people travel over this rapper barn. So I said, okay, with my concept, I do, I have a concept, it's more elegant, you know, more for a little bit chicoria, you know, this uh, upper class people. And I said, okay, we put it there, we, we built a nice club, you know, and this will work over there also, but this wasn't like, <laughs> like it. So Hamburg went. I, know, I will not go back to him. Okay. okay, but Frankfurt, I know, is running, and it's a, it's a very good web page you have on there because I've looked at it, obviously. It's called the Golden Gate Club, yeah. and I see you've got a promotion running at the moment. You sent me something on the uh, on, on the internet, which yeah. is Superstar. Yeah, it's a, it's a New Year New Year party. Right. You know, we have always, we have special uh, mottos for this, you know, and this year we have uh, dressed like a superstar. Mm -hmm. So our... Customers that dress up very nice, you know, we have two big stretch limousines who will pick you up in the city oh, wow. You know the decoration is like Like uh, like Hollywood like superstars and the people like it, you know We have a uh, also we, we offer them also uh, special prices you you can for about 60 euro You have drinks included you have a buffet inside and the people like it Right, so how many people would you get at an event like that at your I will have about three, four hundred people. Right. It's it's not too big the club, you know. It's about three hundred yeah. square meters, you know. But it's more an elegant club. Mm. You don't need to have so much people, you know. You can select the people. It's a little bit expensive, okay, but uh, the people are good. That's all right. Um, the web page I've seen it's Golden Gate Club dot uh, de. De yeah. right Golden Gate Club dot de yeah. and it's worth a look. So it's a very nice club and uh, it's very elegant as you say. And uh, you have a casino in there? It, no, it's a it's a table dance club. You know, at the end it's a table dance club. But you know, I'm not coming out of the red light district or something like no, no, this. No, you know, no. I'm when I took over this club, I was thinking about what can I do with the club. The club is close to the red light district, but not inside the red light district. So I was thinking, what concept can work over there? A normal club doesn't work. They've done yeah. it before, you yeah. know. So in this time, when I, when I opened the club, there was a big wave coming over from the States with table dance. And I said, okay, let us do a table dance club with a discotheque together, but in an exclusive way. Mm -hmm. So we have bouncer, doormans, we have dress code, you know, we don't let yeah. uh, anyone in. We have nice girls and nice mans also right, dancing so boys and girls dancing. exactly you know so also Frankfurt is full with the bank business you know we have the, all yeah, the all yeah. the all the banks are in Frankfurt and we done it also for these customers you know you can have a you can have fun in a serious way sure. you don't need to be ashamed if somebody tell you you go to Golden Gate in the summertime I have all the bachelors party yeah. and I have when you come to the Golden Gate on a Friday or Saturday 10 o'clock in the evening there are only girls sitting inside. They come with the 10 best girlfriends to do the bachelor parties. Right, right. And we have about 67% women inside the club. For a man, sometimes when you go to a, to a table dance club, they are like, what's going on? <laughs> you know? Now you run this with your brother Dirk. No, no, my brother, he, he works in a normal business. All oh, right, I didn't know that. So I've seen you with him out here, obviously. He's coming always with me, yeah, you know. Right. But he have a normal job. I cannot, my mom, it's happy enough that he have a normal job. Okay. <laughs> yeah.